AFTV Young Guns, we're here with the man himself, Hugh Wizzy. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. What's going on? I'm good, man. Arsenal 2, Chelsea 2. Do you see it as a point gained or two points lost? A bit of both, really. Mm. It's very important that we didn't lose that game. So, I mean, I really do appreciate the way that they've yeah. got that bounce back ability. But the fact that we just cannot keep a lead is really frustrating. <laughs> good performances for a Mainsley Maitland Niles. Yeah. Jack Wiltshire was He's good as well. He's actually in contention for the England squad. Do you agree with that? He's been really impressive, I'm not going to lie. He's very quick, very comfortable on the ball. I actually think he's naturally more talented technically. He's than not even a left wing back, bearing in mind. No, no, he's not. <laughs> he's much better in the final third. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's been decent. I don't know about uh, what's going on with Kalasnach. I know he's injured right now, mm. but I've heard bits and bobs that something's not right there. Mm. It's a bit worrying, seeing as yeah. we've invested so much money in him. I know he's free, but we're paying yeah. a lot for him. So, it, all in all, though, it's positive. I mean... Yeah. Bellerin scored a goal, he's been pretty... I told, I told him that something was coming from Hector Bellerin and that was it. It's about time really, yeah. because people have really been getting you know, frustrated mm -hmm. with him. Um, he's not as quick as he used to be, his touch leaves a lot to be desired, but that was a damn good finish tonight and like I said, I'm really proud that they didn't give up because a lot of fans, yeah. at 2-1 they were gone. They got straight up out of the seat, so I'm happy I stayed. Speaking of, speaking about and the fans, what did you make of the reception for Seth Fabregas? Because I thought it was quite disrespectful, to be fair. It's a mixed bag. Yeah. You, you, there's no sitting on the fence with Seth. You either love him or you hate him. You either respect what he did. He was my idol. <laughs> you either respect what he did and how he carried the club for so long, or you think he's a snake in a rat bag. Mm. It's up to you. I've met him, and it kind of changed you my mind. You against him. I did, yeah. <laughs> and it turns out... What was that like? <laughs> he's a really nice guy. Mm. He's got a lot of time for Arsenal. And he actually said that it's funny because when he turns up at the Emirates, he gets booed. But when they see him on the street, Arsenal fans, they want to hug him. So, like I said, it's a, it's a mixed bag. But for me, you know, I pay my respects, but I'm not going to boo him. Yeah. I'm also not going to clap him off. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Um, really quickly, I want to talk about Hazard's penalty decision. Now, it's been confirmed now it was not a penalty. Yeah, I've Do seen the replay just now, right? The guy's an absolute joker. Do you think players like that should be barred from getting them sort of decisions? Like, there should be a certain rule? Well, that is the definition yeah. of calling the referee, right? Yeah. And there have been, you know, suspensions now for players that are... Do you think he'll get suspended? He should do, yeah, definitely. He's con the referee, they've got a goal out of it, why not? Um, not only that, but Maitland-Niles was a penalty as well. 100%. Um, so, I feel a little bit like the referees really are against mm. us right now. I know that it's an excuse what thing. What do you think it is? <laughs> well, it's a combination of things, really. I think they're actually inadequate, incompetent, they're not yeah. good enough. But also, they do have a natural bias. I hate to say it. Um, I think it doesn't do himself any favours by, I guess, even just being around for this long. Yeah. Um, and also there's this marketability thing, Pep is what sells shirts right now, you know, United are the biggest. So we're always going to come like third or fourth as far as the decisions go, but the refereeing in this country, I'm sorry, the state of it is actually a joke. Really quickly, your man of the match today? Man of the match, probably... Ooh. I'd say it's between Wilshire and Maitland Niles. I went for Wilshire. I'd go Wilshire, Maitland Niles or Ozil because this club, right, we like to go sideways and backwards. Yeah. We don't really have anything about us a lot of the time. And whenever Ozil gets the ball, he's trying to make something yeah. happen. Wilshire is the same as well. He's come into form again, really excited to, and hoping that he signs a contract. Yeah. But like you said, man, Maitland Niles has really been turning a screw for me, so I might have to give it to him. He was twisted up a little bit at the end. Great ball from William. Um, let's just talk about Petr Cech for a second as well, right, while I'm here, yeah? Do you, do you want him, because a lot of fans don't want him gone now. He actually did really well today. Forget the penalty. That's right? a shout. He stood up for Morata in the 95th or whatever it was minute, one on one. Nine yeah. times out of ten, that's going in. I think that's just Morata being bad, to be fair. It is, but also he's done the save with his foot against Hazard. That was yeah. a top quality save. Double he's, save. He's pushed one onto the post. I think he did all right in general, but what I will say is that he is probably the worst goalkeeper I've ever seen facing penalties in my life. Hazard literally walks up to it the was ball, inevitable. waits <laughs> for him to go, and then sends it the other way. Hazard never, Hazard never misses him, and Petr Cech never saved him. It was going in either way. It was way. a given, yeah. <laughs> and then really quickly, just saying enough this interview, Arsenal, Bournemouth, are you feeling pretty confident away from home? I mean, you can't be confident with yeah. Arsenal right now, but we've got to be winning that. We need to start closing this gap, or top four really ain't happening unless we win Europa League, and I'm not that confident. Atleti have got Costa back. They're all ready mm. to go. New centre, uh, new centrifugal force in their side. It's going to be difficult. Right? There's some good clubs in that competition now, so we've just got to try and close the gap, mate. Anyone can beat anyone in this league. Yeah. We've just got to start doing it.